Hello and welcome to the editorial analysis of the Hindu. Today we shall be discussing the editorial of the 11th of September. So coming to the first article, the large picture about inclusive programming. This is context with regards to the idea of same language subtitles. Now what is this idea of same language subtitles is? That if you have been watching Indian television, you will know that we have no such culture of having subtitles of any particular television program. And even if these subtitles are available, it is available in a different language. For example, if it is a Hindi program, subtitles will be available in English largely. But now the government has come up with a directive where subtitles will have to be made available in the same language in which the program is running. And that is why this article has been written. That's the context. And coming to the analysis, you will realize that it is a rare article, different article. But these kind of articles sometimes come very, very handy. They will come useful. So coming to the analysis, first and foremost, you should know about this recent directive. As for this recent directive, it now as I've just told you, in the SLS, that is the same language subtitles are what are mandatory. This is what has been given by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. And this is with the idea to make TV programming more accessible to the deaf or those who are hard of hearing. This is probably, uh, this is particularly for the a disabled population was having a hearing impairment so it is to bring them into the fold that this is what has been done india is the second country to have done this in the global south before india brazil is what has done out taken such an initiative and this is again something that is important is that india is the first country to implement the same language subtitles even in brazil the law is that subtitles should be there mandatorily but the same language subtitle idea is what is something that is new and exclusive to india so this is important this is what is going to be implemented in a phased manner different um, amount of television programs have to be covered in uh, as per different deadlines for example uh, by the uh, uh, it has to start from the 15th of august 2019 and by 2020 approximately 10 percent of the programs are what should have these subtitles and the aim is to ensure that 50 percent of all the tv programs by the year 2025 are should have subtitles should have the sls so this is something that you need to know about this recent directive Another thing that is important here is with regards to the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act. This is an act that came in the year 2016 and as per this act, subtitles on television is not a matter of charity but it is a matter of right of the people who are disabled. So that is one thing that is important. Another important analysis rather one of the most important analysis of this article is in the context of the Sustainable Development Goals. It is largely the Sustainable Development Goal number 4 which India aims to achieve. The goal here is that of quality education. So for mass literacy this is something that is going to be very very productive. What happens is that in India on an average every single person is watching television for a time period of 3 hours 46 minutes so if this is what is the time that people are spending on television now if that is the time then this is what can be tapped or how it can be tapped is that if we below every single program we are going to have these same language subtitles then this is what is going to result in people reading these subtitles and this is going to increase their their literacy levels this is going to make reading a part of the daily norm so this is what is important the first benefit will be that daily or automatic reading literacy practices what is going to take place also what happens what is happening in india is that we have educated uh, we have educated population but reading skills are poor 500 million people in india are such who have poor weak readers so if this is something that is taken up as an initiative that is what is going to improve so that is one important analysis another thing that is important here is with regard to the indian languages our indian languages are what are facing a setback as of now they are threatened because of excessive use of english language so it is being argued that each several Indian languages will also get an improvement so that is important another thing that is important is that India can in this particular case be a case study for the world I have just told you that this idea of SLS is what is unique to India though previously this is what has been implemented in several countries but subtitles as such in the same language is what only India is experimenting and even UK US all these countries are going to be looking towards India and what India can achieve through this. So that is going to be a matter of a case study globally. So that is what is important. Also what has been mentioned here is in the context of the ASR report. We all know 
that in the ASO report it has time and again been asserted that the, even a student of class 5 is not able to read the text of a class 2 book. So that is one of the challenges that India is facing that despite a large amount of horizontal expansion of education as such, vertical delivery of education is not taking place. That means that students are being brought to schools but quality education is not being provided and this can be one of the means to ensure mass education, mass literacy. So that is what is important. Another thing that is important is in the context of digital platforms. As of now, it is only for television, but the editorial is advocating that this is what should be extended even to the digital platform. So that is what is important. The digital over the top platforms, which is the OTT platforms, even there, this is what should be expanded. So that is what has been analyzed in this editorial. Indeed, this is a very, very important editorial. Why I'm calling it important is that you can have a question on education as such that how to improve quality education and this is one of those ideas that is not going to be tapped not going to be written much by many students and you can use this as a de novo idea that this is one way in which literacy can be improved so that is how you have to use this particular article as an example and that is where the importance is and that is how you have to use so that's about this article coming to the next article factoring in safety important article it is context with regards to the unfortunate episode recently there has been a fire there has been an accident in a firecracker factory where there was fire and this is what took place in Batala in Punjab and approximately 24 people have lost their lives and this is one of the major concerns for India that our work environments are not safe and as a result of which this article as such becomes very very important so coming to the analysis First and foremost, you need to know about the occupational as well as industrial safety. It has been discussed that India's record in this particular context is poor. Whether we see this particular accident, this is something that has just taken place recently and that is why this is the news. But otherwise, we have for long heard of these kind of accidents taking place at work environments. Just recently in the ONGC, there was a fire in the ONGC office in Navi, Mumbai. There was a fire which led to the death of four people. So the India's record in the context of occupational and industrial safety is what is in shatters as of now. It is very, very poor and this is despite the fact that India is growing at a, at a, at a very, very high pace economically and more and more industries are going to be set up. But still safety is not a concern for the nation and that is, that is something that is important. Another thing that has been discussed here is the need for a single law. Now basically, Occupational Safety, Health and Working Condition Code is what is being proposed in the Lok Sabha. This aims to combine approximately 13 existing laws for safety. As of now, we have different laws for different sectors in safety. For example, there is a different law for, for the mining industry, there is a different law for the petroleum industry, there is a different law for the construction workers, for the transport workers. So this is what has been discussed that instead of having all these plethora of laws which makes implementation difficult, a single law is what is required and that is what has been discussed. Another important analysis is in the context of safety committees and safety officers. Now basically any industry having more than 500 people is bound to have a safety committee and a safety officers. But this is only if the state is making a law in this regard and several states are lax in this direction and that is why these laws and these committees are what are not there, these officers are not there and such kind of episodes are what do take place and that is what has been discussed that this is something that the states must take more seriously and that is what is important. Another thing is the idea of a safe working environment. Indeed, this is what is required. This is what is the basic right of all workers and this is what the is, is what should be regulated and managed by the government. So that is important. Also in the context of the international laws under the ILO, there is a norm, there is a convention that was that was signed way back in the year 1981 but India has not, not ratified this particular convention and therefore even the international labor organization cannot regulate such kind of measures in India and that is what is important. Lastly, what has been discussed, something that is very very important is the Bhopal gas tragedy. This is a clear example that how industrial safety in India is not given any respect and despite being a victim to the Bhopal gas tragedy, India has not probably not learnt its lesson. So that is what has been discussed. Indeed, this is an important topic. You can have a question in this regard in uh, General Studies paper 2 because a law is what is required in this direction. So that is where this article and this topic becomes important. So that's about this article. Coming to the next article. 
वन ईयर आफ्टर नफतेज जोहर इमेजिनिंग एंड इक्वालिटी लॉ नो द कॉन्टेक्स्ट हियर इज बेसिकली सेक्शन 377 व्हाट हैज हैपेंड इज दैट सेक्शन 377 द जजमेंट ऑन द लैंड बैंक जजमेंट ऑन आर्ट ऑन सेक्शन 377 ऑफ द आईपीसी व्हिच डीक्रिमिनलाइजेशन गे रिलेशनशिप्स इज व्हाट हैज बीन व्हिच इज 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 व्हाट टू प्लेस वन ईयर बैक एंड इन द एनिवर्सरी ऑफ दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल हैज बीन रिटन सो दैट इज व्हाई दिस आर्टिकल इज रिटन दैट इज द कॉन्टेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द एनालिसिस फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट यू शुड नो द नेम ऑफ द केस वेदर जजमेंट वाज गिवन दिस वाज द नफतेज जोहर वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया केस नाउ आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट यू शुड हैव सम नोट और मे बी सम स्टिकी नोट्स ऑफ दीस इंपोर्टेंट जजमेंट्स फॉर एग्जांपल दिस नफतेज जोहर जजमेंट द पुत्ता स्वामी जजमेंट दीस आर सम लैंडमार्क जजमेंट्स व्हिच यू विल हैव टू रिमेंबर दीस जजमेंट्स आर व्हाट यू कैन नॉट इग्नोर एंड दैट इज व्हाई आई ऑलवेज स्ट्रेस ऑन द फैक्ट दैट यू शुड हैव अ नोट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दीस काइंड ऑफ जजमेंट्स सो दैट इफ time is what is provided to opportunities what is provided to you in upsc you should be able to talk about them so that is the first thing that you should know that this judgment was what was given in the year 2018 under the naftej johar versus union of india case so that is important some other judgments are also important some other landmark judgments in the year 2018 that came up were the, the first was decriminalization of adultery this was the joseph shine case and the second was the sabri mala judgment which also came up so these other uh, uh, landmark judgments of 2018 are important because all of these are, are judgments that work towards equality as a principle for example in the sabri mala judgment even women were given rights to give vote for their religious pilgrimage and all of that is what is important so this is what has been discussed in the editorial another thing that has been discussed which is important is the idea of discrimination now even if the government now recognizes the lgbt com- lgbt community as well as their rights their right to express their identity their gender orientation as well as their gender identity is what they can now express despite this judgment discrimination on a daily basis is what is continuing for example this is what continues in schools in the workplace in healthcare sector in public places these people are discriminated against so what has been talked here in the editorial is that despite the landmark law the crown situation hasn't changed much and that is what is a cause of concern that is what is a bit important here also this article provides us a summary of several laws which have been which have been made with the idea of ensuring some amount of equality for example this is the paragraph where it has been mentioned and i would suggest that make a note of this paragraph whenever i have discussed my articles i have always tell, told you that upsc will welcome expansion of ideas in your answers if you if you are talking about equality related laws and you can mention all of these laws this will show the depth of your knowledge and also the vastness of your knowledge and that is how you have to present your case so please make a note of all of these laws because these are the laws that are important in the context of equality as a right for the citizens of india so make a note of these first and foremost is the right of persons with disabilities act of the year 2000 and 16 this is one of those laws another law that is important is the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes prevention of atrocities act of 1989 the protection of civil rights act of 1955 this is what is important also the, another law that is important is the sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redress act of 2013 the transgender persons protection of rights bill of 2019 all of these laws are what are very very important on all these laws are working towards ensuring equality in india but the issue is that at the ground level the things are not changing much primarily because first and foremost the mindsets of people are not changing propaganda has to be initiated by the government where the mindsets are changing and there should be protection that should be available to people in case of any discrimination also the editorial is suggesting for the need of an overarching law it is saying that instead of these plethora of laws there should be one single law which should ensure that no discrimination is what does take place against a person for any particular reason on any particular ground and that is why this is what is this this law is what is going to be important than all the other laws because it will not ensure any discrimination on sexual orientation gender identity and expression sex caste religion age disability marital status pregnancy nationality and for that matter any other ground so that is what is the gist of this article this article is important it is giving us a solution for one law but otherwise i don't know it's not a very very expansive article it is discussing these talking about these topics but in brief so definitely it is not an all encompassing topic on the idea of equality but yes it provides us for the material it provides us good example so it is relevant in that particular context so that's about this particular article coming to the next article 
facing up to reality basically this article is in the context of isro as well as chandrayaan 2 i have discussed chandrayaan 2 in complete detail i have discussed all the nuances that are important in the context of the mission as such this article only gives us one particular point and that one point is that now that isro has failed isro should accept that it has failed there is no shame in failing what is out of now taking place is that isro is coming up with claims that it is 90 to 95 percent successful which i had discussed also how it is 90 to 95 percent successful this is what is being refuted by the author here he is saying that this is a mission that has failed why is it failed because it was not a mission to have to ensure that there is an orbiter around the moon we already have ensured that in chandrayaan 1 itself the orbiter is not of much relevance our aim goes to reach on the south pole which we haven't there is even if we have reached even if a soft landing is what has been successful even in that case we have lost communication and that is why the now rover is not going to function well and that is why we will not be able to study the terrain of the south pole of the moon and therefore we should accept gracefully that yes we have failed so that is what is the entire gist of this particular article in this particular context where i feel that in ethics paper also these kind of questions can become important otherwise also as a part of your personality you will have to understand that why is it in india that failure is such a big deal if once i had heard a story that if you will see in case of us or for that matter and for that matter in any other western countries sometimes their leaders are such if you study about them if you go to the history they have lost a plethora of elections before becoming the presidents or the leaders of the, their nations but can this be the case of india if a person in india is failing an election once he is almost sometimes even outcast he is almost considered um, never to be successful and that is he he doesn't he or she doesn't get any opportunity and failure in our country is highly overrated even if in this particular exam we will analyze many of the students are undergoing depression and they are not preparing with full spirit because of the fear of failure so failure is something that is the road that is somehow the building block towards a success and it should be viewed as just that and nothing something to be nothing to be ashamed of and that is what is basically the idea that i could extract from this one particular article and that is what you can even use if you have some philosophical analysis to give in upsc and that is why this article is important nevertheless you can give it a read it's a good article to read so that's about this particular article and that's about our discussion today i thank you all for watching the video